So Jun Park here is sitting next to me. He is the head of the N program at Hyundai. And uh, my first question to you, Jun, is whatever gave Hyundai the idea that it should do an electric performance car like the Ionic 5S? Mm, okay. Um, to answer your question, so for example, like, you know, for us, like a car enthusiast, you know, EVs are not our taste, <laughs> yeah, from the beginning. And, but at the same time, we had a duty to make some kind of you know, evolution and revolution. For example, like we had a, if we had a no choice, uh, but to just only create the EV, then we actually want to make EV fun. And that was actually our first thing when we started thinking about, you know, making EV performance. And that at the time, uh, when we are, you know, starting to think about what kind of EV performance that we want to create, that we actually test out a lot of different so-called high-powered EVs, which is very fast on the straight, and but it actually requires some other improvement for other parts like the, you know, the endurance on the racetrack, like a cooling and brakes are all dying after a few laps, like even you know, Nordschleife and Uber King, like, which is a 20 kilometers long. Some other so-called fast EVs cannot survive over there. They do maybe one lap. Um, even less than one lap. No. With the full power, with the full braking, and, and so on and so forth. Just like we are driving on the track. In that case, we want to achieve something that we actually can be proud of. So that was the starting point. But at the same time, we didn't have any kind of benchmark. Right, because if we had a benchmark in, in, for example, like in the IC era, we actually had a lot of good, cool and products out there, and we could actually benchmark some of the you know things, but we needed needed to start from the scratch, from the beginning. So it was all about imagination and courage, mm -hmm. because we imagined some kind of you know stressful things while we are making an EV. And if we turn that out into the fun factor, that was our goal. Actually, we wanted to make the strong bridge between petrol head to, you know, the another era, which is EV performance. So we started with the, you know, differentiation between high powered car and EV performance, high powered EV versus EV performance, which we want to make as an end. Mm -hmm. that, that was the sign point. Why did you choose the Ionic 5? It's because we have a beautiful 800 volt based EGMP platform. And this is our first uh, 800 volt EGMP platform. We wanted to start from there. And, you know, even before we have ILE 5N, we had a rolling lab, which is, we call it rn 22 e When we actually introduced Envision 74, we actually created another rolling lab, which is uh, ILE 5N power electric system based one with the Ionic 6 body. And then we try to, you know, have all those kind of components which will be used for Ionic 5N, but to actually have uh, maximum potential from EGMP, we tried a lot of different things to make Ionic 5N at this current stages. And this is because simply because Ionic 5 was the first 800 volt model, and then we keep going from, mm -hmm. from there. What, when you say a rolling lab, is that a, a test mule? Is... Yeah, it's our playground. So for example, like back in 2014, we started the rolling lab project, which actually I made a project name back in the days because we wanted to make our, you know, effort without any kind of, you know, um, limitation, because if we are thinking only about the production car, then there's a lot of limitation, like in terms of, you know, the legal issue in terms of, you know, um, homologation issue and so on and so forth. So we made a project called rolling that, that means like, you know, we actually put our engine to the rear to make the MR based on Veloster. In, and then we actually put the carbon fiber in to reduce the weight and so on and so forth. And we use like our 2.3 turbo engine from TCR to make fun from the rear. And then we even created RM20E to actually make the bridge between the IC rolling lap to EV rolling lap and also to, you know, uh, prepare for ETCR race, which we uh, were in. And those kind of things actually create a lot of momentum to freely investigate what we want to make. Because at the end of the day, 
it's all about fans and it's all about car enthusiasts uh, because if we as a car enthusiast wants to make one or, or some kind of car, then we have a strong belief that, you know, uh, the older car enthusiasts will like it. However, we need to talk to them a lot because we need to listen to them and we need to actually give, uh, provide a lot of different feedback to our engineers, what our fans are thinking. And this is, you know, total beauty of just doing this kind of job. You touched on it a little bit, but what were some of the key things that you had to change, especially from an endurance standpoint? Endurance standpoint. So basically, you know, one big thing that we actually change it is about the, you know, the, the, the cooling system. So for example, like our Ionic 5 itself is very, 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 very good car for different reasons. And it's a family driven car and it's all fine for all those cooling in the normal situation. And we have, you know, combined approach for the high temperature and the low temperature to cool together, uh, both, uh, for example, like both battery and in the motor. However, we created a different cooling mechanism. So for example, like we actually made a separate, uh, low temperature radiator and the high temperature radiator and also we, we increase the you know surface of the cooling itself to actually ensure that we have a proper amount of cooling goes into separately into the battery and also the motor and then the separation strategy for our cooling mechanism also helped us a lot and also we use the region uh, in a different way for example, if you're thinking about the region, recuperative energy and region breaking, most of the time that you're thinking about efficiency, right? Mm -hmm. But not only the efficiency, we actually pull that kind of, you know, uh, engineering part into fun, fun part. So by using region um, maximum 320 kilowatts, we also cool down the, the battery a little bit. So we followed out and we actually, you know, continuously made an effort to have an ensured cooling for the components. And also the, we are using the next generation, our uh, fourth generation battery pack, which is customized for our end. So for, for enhanced cooling and so on and so forth, and also endurance. And this is, you know, fun factor to make our INUT5 and race track capable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're using region and more for braking than you would normally. Yeah, for example, like not only up for example region for braking, but also if we are having the proper amount of region, which means like we have 0.6 G maximum region power, which is kind of you know the biggest in current uh, current time in the industry. But if we are achieving that region we can also reduce the fatigue of the physical brakes. So for example, it's a very, very good example. If I, if I, you know, talking like this, if I'm talking like this, for example, like our Elan Ryan, if we are driving our Elan Ryan with this kind of media drive set, set up for one week, we actually need to check, uh, uh, I, uh, we put our procedure to check every night after you draw, drive our cars, we, we have a procedure to check the you know, the, the brake pass, right? And like one week driving session for the media journalist, we need to change our brake like twice a day. I won't, 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 won't. like once we, in two days or something. But we found out after uh, we have like, you know, international drive for IONI 5 n as well as European drive, we figured out it actually remains 70%, you know, during whole week. So, this is kind of, you know, things to make car endure on the race track. If you're using only a uh, physical brake, the brake fade will be there, right? So this is one of the fun factor thing outside of the box to create our, uh, to use um, recorporate energy to, to be in the fun factor. And if you drive with the end pedal on, and that actually is my favorite part because if you're lift off the throttle, then the regen brake is kicking in. And then you can have very, very cool moment when you're turning in and you can make the very tuck, very cool tuck in moment. You can create it. And also, yeah, all those kind of thing, we are thinking in different way because 
we love cars and we w- would like to develop the cars that we want to drive. What would you say was the, the biggest surprise that you learned in the program or was there one? For I if I went? Yeah. Mm. So for example, like making maybe, you know, s- uh, some of our sound engineers, sound research lab engineers, and, you know, some of our test lab engineers are listening to this, but, you know, making the perfect balance of what we call emotional performance is a very, very, very hard job because, for example, like, you know, we had a very long history of IC engine. And then in order to convince people who are driving with our NE shift, which is virtual shifting by using the motor talk. And this was to make the perfect balance between the shifting as well as the sound itself was very, very hard after we made a very good foundation of our car. And also because, for example, like, you know, when we are going forward with the driving, like, wow, 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 and then down shift, like, wow, wow, like, you know, this timing match. Because if we want to create the perfect one, then the timing does matters. So, you know, we had a hard time to make the timing. And then I, I would like to say thank you for my, for our engineers. Uh, even though they actually blame me a lot <laughs> because I'm, I'm so pushy to them. Oh, man, it's not, oh man, I, I was like this, but. At the end of the day, uh, we actually had a satisfiable result at this moment. Sure, you're, yeah. you're, you want to get it right. Right. Do you think there's something that you learned from doing the, the IINEC, uh 5N that will apply to you just regular street cars? Of course, of course. Like, you know, we already applied a lot of different things. So, for example, like um, our integrated drive axle that we created from the, you know, the motorsport scene was applied not only to, you know, our Elantra and, but also to our Ionic 5. And then using our c- current generation battery and recuperation energy, those kind of, you know, logic that we already apply for our pa- facelifted Ionic 5. And that's how we can also increase our AER as well. And also those kind of cooling system and component that we created for Ionic 5N will be used for other, you know, general and normal models of a Hyundai lineup. That's why, thank you for that question. That's exactly why we are doing N. So if we're thinking about like, you know, the integration of that technology from motorsports always on top and that we have rolling lap and we have N and then we have base model to make strong, uh, to make the strong base of base model and to make the base model stronger. So this is kind of vertical integration of technology is what we are doing at N and in terms of not only just having fun, but also to enhance our normal daily drivers. You're starting a cup racing series Mm -hmm. for just Ionic 5 Ants. Why did you do that? It's not just for the Ionic 5 Ants. We are having cup racing uh, since a while ago, but we are currently focusing on N models at this moment in South Korea, and we are expanding to other countries as well. We are currently running with the Lanfa N in South Korea, and the entry, the number of entry is around 200. 200 entry. Yeah. yeah. It's Just in South it's Korea. A, it's, yeah, it's a grassroots motorsport. Mm-hmm. And then we try to actually achieve a very, very simple factor, having our production level car possible at the race track, Without that much, you know, chill. only only thing that we are changing is the roll cage and safety features, and then they're always having fun. But in order to actually bring this kind of strong bridge between IC performance era to the EV performance era, the motorsports can be an enabler. So we actually, when when we are start to thinking about our i 5 n project itself, we thought about you know. Why not? Because if we have a cool cooling component, if we have a cool, you know, car, then it's not going to be that expensive to convert our IONI 5N to IONI 5N Yenon Cup car. So that's one of the biggest reasons that we actually want to introduce our IONI 5N Yenon Cup car into the grassroots motorsports so that, you know, our fans can easily adapt and see 
what is what Ionify and the EV performance are capable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the very simple reason. Well, another good reason I would think is you're going to expose a lot of enthusiasts mm -hmm. to an electric sports car, mm -hmm. really, racing mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the price difference is really what matters because if it is too much higher than our production car, the affordability and also the, the, the reachable, reachable, it's not reachable. Mm -hmm. So for example, that's one of the biggest part. So if we have a strong base of our Ionify van, and we actually could minimize the additional you know, difference between the production car and our cup car. So for example, if we are thinking about uh, the level of price is like a 66,000 and the cup car price is going to be like, you know, not much higher than 66 or something like 80, 80 to 85,000, mm -hmm. which is the motorsports race cup car, then it's affordable. It should be affordable. Otherwise we are not Hyundai and anymore. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Okay. Last question. What's next for and? All right. That's a very cool question. And there are a lot of things going on in my head as well as in our, you know, organization. So back in the days when I firstly uh, wrote a strategy paper for N, so it is called N Me to Long Term Strategy. That was actually first paper uh, starting for N. And then I got a confirmation from our chairman, and then we had a lot of plans until 20, 2020. So for example, the paper wrote in 2013 actually contains what we need to do until 2020. And that's how we build up um, our story. Because if, if there's no plan, and it's always like, you know, doing this, doing what, doing that, yeah? This is always fight. And then in my personal opinion, I we could achieve around like 70 to 75% within that plan. And we have a plan until 2030. <laughs> <laughs> so for example, like, you know, our Envision 74, RN22E, those kind of rolling lab. It's actually one of our inspire inspiration and also our INU5 and our new car, new end models. Even though, for example, like we don't care about what kind of propulsion that we want to drive. So, for example, it has to be, it doesn't have to be EV. It doesn't have to be IC. It doesn't have to be hybrid. No matter what propulsion it is that we actually want to create the fun. That is next step mm -hmm. yeah, for our fans, for our global fans. Because, and I cannot tell you. Right? I can, it's all secret. But of course. But, of course. Well, one thing that I can tell you is that... You know, at at some point while I was in Hyundai, I actually feel this is the waste of time and money for making the mock-up models only for the only for the you know model show display, and that's why we actually created the rolling net as a as a concept, and then rolling net itself is you know the car which is which has uh, that capacity and that power, and that specification that you can drive and I can drive. So this actually, in, this is an enabler to actually convince all the, all the other people and to plan ahead. And this is kind of cool approach that we have. So I cannot tell you for the, all the future, but you can actually... There's a plan. Next awaits. <laughs> yes, next awaits. We're good. <laughs> Jim Park, thanks so much for your time. Thank Very you interesting. So much. Pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. And it was my pleasure to meeting you in person one more time. It was like more than 10 years ago, I met you in Detroit with my boss at the time. But yeah, finally we are meeting together. It's a cool moment. Thank you so much. And enjoy our early five minutes. Oh, oh, you know I'm going to enjoy. All right. All right. Thank you.